All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBO Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, hailing from Belgorod Nestrovsky in Ukraine. He weighed in at 125 and one half pounds. His professional record stands at one win, one loss, with one win coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBO number four world contender. Tonight making his second attempt at a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the renowned two-time Olympic gold medalist. Introducing Vasily Lomachenko. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the blue corner in this vacant world title attraction, wearing white trunks with gold trim, hailing from Capitol Heights, Maryland. He weighed in, the same as his opponent, 125 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBO number one world contender, and tonight making his first attempt at a world title introducing the undefeated Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Once again a referee in charge now to give instructions Jack Reese. I give you both instructions and address I want to remind you, listen and obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. And we're getting ready to go. 12 rounds for the WBO vacant featherweight title. Gary Russell Jr. against Vasil Lomachenko. You mentioned almost 400 amateur fights. The best court that he had leading into this week. Ask them. He was at Lomachenko. Ready? From what age did you start Ready? Boxing? I can't remember. I think they took him from the hospital straight to the boxing gym. And we're getting ready to go. Let me check on the southpaw in black. Gary Russell Jr. Also the southpaw wearing white trunks with gold trim. Alongside Doug Fisher and Beth Duran. Our co main event tonight. One people have been talking about. One people have been excited about. Because two fighters are measured repeatedly. Signs of height. Definitely talent. It's a very hard fight to handicap, a very tough fight for odds makers to figure out, very tough fight for hardcore boxing fans and boxing writers and boxing insiders to really pick a favorite in here because they're so evenly matched in terms of talent. And Gary Russell Jr. maybe edges Lomachenko in, in some of the um, athletic departments such as um, speed, reflexes, and, and punching power. You're going to hear that word over and over and over with Gary Russell Jr. Speed. Speed and speed. One of the best lines I've heard about Russell Jr. from one of the Mexican boxers. And he makes Speedy Gonzalez look slow. Absolutely. He's the fastest fighter I've seen. Really? He's a, I think he's the fastest um, active Stop. fighter. Breaks or fight fastest separate. active fighter. I can't think of anyone who's got quicker hands than Gary Russell Jr. I really can't. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you, Ben. Because you say so. Listen, the only knock on Gary Russell Jr. is that he hasn't been tested. And that's what this fight is. You know, good body shot. He, he's the more uh, seasoned professional. He's got more pro experience by far with 24 uh, bouts. But he's not the more battle tested. Lomachenko, with that one 12 round championship bout with Orlando Salido, had his character tested. And he answered the call, even though he lost a split decision. Salido, the top boxer, which is the typical Mexican fighter. So got to that point where he's so good, some guys don't want to fight. That's true too. But everybody he, that has been put in the ring with him, he was supposed to beat them. And he's taking care of his last one that he did at 24 and all. Opening round, scheduled for 12. WBO title on the line, the featherweight title. The vacant fight now. Lomachenko got a shot in there. I don't know if you want to Left hand in there. Russell showing some impressive hand speed. Some defensive savvy against Lomachenko, who is a busy fighter. Somebody who works for three minutes of the round. Either his hands are moving or his feet are moving. And he makes use of 
defense. So he's able to get shots in against guys who have um, phenomenal hands. Love the take away the black trunks. Russell. Somebody who wanted to fight for a, a world title and just a second pro bout, obviously he's not going to be intimidated by anybody. He does not have the hand speed to match with Gary Russell, but he's got a lot of footwork, a lot of good movement, and that helps him find angles in which to get off and land against Russell Jr. And there you see the quickness in the hand speed from Gary Russell Jr. Lands one, two, three punches against the fighter from the Ukraine, Lomachenko. Gary Russell Jr. undefeated. It's right for Lomachenko. Russell is back with three punches of his own. Good combo from Gary Russell. Russell is going to have to catch Lomachenko when Lomachenko is uh, pulling the trigger. Catching between shots with his own shots, which is what he normally does. That's it. When he, when he scores a knockout, it's usually a counter punch. Nice body shot. Lomachenko, body shot. Russell stays there. Out of there. And the body attack was something that Lomachenko made good use of, even as an amateur. That's what he was known for? Oh, he was known for doing a little bit of everything. Yeah. But the body attack, he would use it more against certain opponents. Um, but yeah, he always had a good body attack. Pushing the amateur, when you go to the body and work, you don't see that too often. He mixed his body attack up right. And as he gets tagged with the left by Gary Russell.
vacant featherweight title. That exchange between the two southpaws. That was a nice uh, right hook. Shanko tried to move, but didn't quite land the flesh. Oh, oh, action. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, uh, let us him up. It was interesting. Referee Jack Reeves saying, no, no, no. Tell him to don't move that to show him up. Bye. Hey, let me change the somebody else. He learned some roughhouse moves from Salido. There you go. Jab from Lomachenko. I think it was first with that jab. Russell Jr. came up very aggressive to start the third round. Now Lomachenko picking it up here. I think it makes sense for Russell Jr. to be a little more aggressive. I think he has the edge in power. I think if there's anybody who has the power to, to turn somebody's lights out or to hurt him or drop him with a single shot, it's Russell. And of course, his quickness is a big factor in that. He catches him with shots in the city. Closing seconds of the third round. Scheduled for 12. Gary Russell Jr. Hi. Lomachenko getting ready for the fourth round. Gary Russell Jr. to seal Lomachenko. Two southpaws. Action packed fight so far. I would call this uh, an intense, high intensity, high class chess match. High class chess match. High intensity. Definitely the intensity of the chess match. You see two fighters, both are very intelligent, know exactly what they want to do. It looks like they both have a strong game plan. They're sticking to it. Russell definitely is letting that double jab in the corner of the right. The speed from Gary Russell Jr. You guys see it. That was a nice jab to the uh, chest. Yeah. That's smart. He's going to rise in the combo from Gary Russell. But you know, there's a little chanko. A little chanko. He's difficult to hit flush. Both guys are. Yeah, both guys. The USA chat. Oh, what's going on? You have the Olympian in Russell for the USA 2008 against Lomachenko, 2008 and 12. He won gold both times for the Ukraine. Lomachenko doing a lot of lateral movement, looking for the right hand. Nice clean shot. Long left, nice clean shot. That was a nice jab. That was a nice jab for Lomachenko. That was just timely. Both are being thrown up and landing in the flush. Both fighters, both quick, both with good defense. Gary Russell Jr. with the white trunks with the gold tramp. Lomachenko all black. Lomachenko just throwing one shot at a time for, for the time being. But it seems to have uh, caused Russell to stop punching and back off, at least for a moment. My brakes step away from each other. Box. Russell Jones is sliding down. And Jack is staying upstairs. Russell goes back oh, to the push ribs. Push off each other. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of Get out of there. Good break from Russell. Right hook from Gary Russell. Seen a different array of punches been thrown in this round for the 2008 Olympics of Maryland. Good jab from Lomachenko. Yeah. Snap the head of Russell. And we saw Lomachenko double one. For the first time, effectively. It's effectively. He landed those. Ten seconds to go in the fourth round. A good battle between Lomachenko and Gary Russell. For the WBO vacant featherweight title between Gary Russell Jr. and Vasil Lomachenko. Stabhop Center in Carson, California. The WBO vacant featherweight title on the line. Scheduled for 12. Lomachenko, the Ukrainian against Russell, the American. Lomachenko in black. We mentioned earlier, Doug Fisher, that it's a chess match between the two. Kind of hard to move the pawns right now. Speed chess. Speed chess like in the park. Central Park in New York City. Get that clock out. Get that clock out. Put everything done with a purpose. Check the lands. If you're a, a boxing purist, if you're somebody who's uh, loves to see a fighter make use of a jab, make use of feints, have the, the proper foot placement, really 
calculate how he's going to go about his offense, or this is a fight that you are uh, thoroughly enjoying. Good round for Lomachenko landing upstairs and to the body also. Look at the blood now on the lip of Gary Russell, his bottom lip. So he got tagged. Right. Body shot again for Lomachenko. Letting his hands go a little bit more power behind that. He's digging in there. He digs in with the left to the body. And this is the first time Gary Russell Jr. has been in with an opponent who is not just coming to win, but actually has the skill, intelligence, and talent to get that win. Also a fighter who expects to win in Lomachenko. Exactly. All those other guys that he fought, some of them came in there wanting to win and believing in themselves, but they did not have the talent. One thing to believe in yourself, one other thing to actually believe right. what you believe. Those guys didn't have the skills. You can overhype yourself all you want, make yourself believe it. Lomachenko doesn't have the skills, and without a doubt, definitely has confidence in his ability to come in. Both these guys were supremely confident coming into this fight. I'm wondering what's going on in Russell Jr.'s head right now. How confident is he right now? And he takes a left hook from Lomachenko who lands. Body shot upstairs. Lomachenko body shot harder. Lomachenko from the line of hands go. Digging deep. He's on it. The end. He sees something. He's landing the body. Russell just covering up here in the round. Lomachenko with a big left. He's smiling at there. And he would he was a bit of a showman. He did this in the Olympics. You mentioned the chest match earlier. Well, he's moving his cane and his cream around. He's doing whatever he wants. That's right. Power moves. A body shot from Lomachenko hurting Gary Russell. I think he should stick to that body. That's what opened up Gary Russell's head. Another body him. shot. Those are digging in. They're not just <laughs> tapping. Ten seconds to go in the round. An extra round for Lomachenko, the Ukrainian. The fifth round belongs to him as he gets dug into the body of Gary Russell Jr. Punch, punch up punching. He's eager. He was up before the whistle was blown. He got out of that stool and he's on his toes and you see him bouncing around. He was start the sixth round. He's feeling good. He's in his breath. And I think Gary Russell Jr. needs to do something to stop this momentum. To halt the confidence of Vazor Lomachenko. Lomachenko definitely with the strongest round of the He attacked the body of Gary Russell. Now Russell coming up very aggressive. Here to start the series. Lomachenko going around that ring with confidence. Bouncing on his toes. Where's the toe boots? Stop, stop, stop. Go 
push your set down, you right? Don't push your set down, box. Stop at the bell. Ha! Closing set, he's on the right. Time. Time to pretty even time. Let's go to the seventh round. I have a good one. I, have a, I think there's been a lot of close rounds, but I have a clear edge. Do you really? Yeah, I think he's landed significant blows in most of the rounds. However, I did get that last round from us. I, I like his aggression in there. And I like the way he closed up. The only round that I think probably could be one where it honestly stood out was that fifth one. That's true. That, that was the, the, the most decisive round, the biggest round for either fighter. And always let check this round. We're in the seventh. Lomachenko, the Ukrainian two-time Olympic gold medalist against Gary Russell, Olympic commander in the United States in 2018 from Beijing, China. Russell swinging wildly at this, and that's not his style. That's why often you see Gary Russell in fights when he's missing. It's very he's tagged by an uppercut. And it's got to be a little bit discouraging. Maybe not discouraging, but frustrating in Russell's part. He's, he's used to landing every time he lets his hands go. 24-0 Gary Russell Jr. in a tough one with Vasil Lomachenko. Stop. Nobody punch. Step away from each other. Step out. Box. Lomachenko record one in one. And I mentioned recently turned professional. Over 400 fights with the amateur. And that's big in the European circuit where you stay as amateur as long as possible. Decided to go back and win a second gold medal. And that was in the lightweight division. And he basically coasted his way through. There was no opposition for him as there was in the previous Olympics in Beijing. Body shot, Russell answered a couple of out. Now we're starting to see Gary Russell put those combinations together. He's not coming forward the way he was at the start of the round. But he's getting a little bit sloppy with his combinations now. They're more flurries from Russell than accurate combinations. And I think right now the cleaner puncher is Lomachenko as he uh, advances. Lomachenko lands more upstairs. Russell goes to the body. Good exchange between the two fighters. Weighing 125 pounds. Ooh, good left from Lomachenko. In the corner. Body shot from Lomachenko. Who also was inducted in the International Boxing Hall of Fame a couple 
Let the hands go. Yes. They saw this earlier in the fight and away from it. This, this is less of a, a chess match right now. It's fight. Now it's just slug. Where Russell's kind of wanting to impose himself physically. Not just how thick as a pony. And now Lachenko, being the runner that he is, he's, he's answering. Being the competitor that he is. He's trying to answer that aggression with some aggression and, some, and more activity. Well, work out of your hands, a free workout. this fight to be easy for either fighter. Nobody expected a quick knockout. Nobody expected an all-out fight. Two guys are very short, very talented. And they've only matched it.
finish. That fight with uh, Salida, very strong. Came on strong around the left, especially around the left. All these seconds of the 11th round. Lomachenko, Russell, put it on the show in Carson, California. Decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Lisa Jampa scores about 114 to 114, even a draw. Overruled by judges Max DeLuca and Pat Russell, they both scored about 116 to 112 in favor of the winner. Never again. And now the WBO featherweight champion of the world. Vasily Lomachenko! Jody decision goes to the Ukrainian. Congratulations to Vasily Lomachenko. He's now the WBO featherweight champion. The majority decision over Gary Russell Jr. He loses for the first time in his career. He falls at 24 and 1. Two fighters and Lomachenko, the emotion on his face. Congratulations to you, Vasily. What does it mean to him to become the fastest to win a title? 
Поздравляем тебя. И что для тебя значит так быстро выиграть титул чемпиона мира? Ну, насколько я знаю, я современный рекордсмен мира, и мне это очень приятно. Я повторил успех. В Таиланде в Запом выиграл с третьего боя. Я повторил его успех. Для меня это большое удовлетворение. Хотел бы сказать огромное спасибо всем болельщикам, которые приехали с Украины поддержать меня и своей команде. Спасибо огромное. It's, I'm very, very happy and very excited to be a world uh, champion. I just uh, repeated the guy from Thailand who won in his third fight uh, became a champion. I just wanted to thank to all the fans came here to support me, all the people came from Ukraine, and uh, I wanted to thank my team to help me to prepare for this fight. And what